Wars. Operation Blue Wave launched on January 7th, and it is now January 9th, 148 days to go until Nintendo's E3 presentation. And we have already accumulated more than 100 followers on Twitter, and more than 600 have connected to Operation Blue Wave on Facebook. And there, if you search Operation Blue Wave in YouTube, you'll already find more than a, about a dozen videos. When just on, you know, on Friday, there were zero. So thank you very much for that support. And I have not done, I have done nothing to promote Operation Blue Wave aside from merely running the Twitter feed and running the Facebook. I haven't done anything else to promote it. All of that growth and all of that interest is purely because of you. Uh, yes, I founded Operation Blue Wave, but this isn't about me. I just want to act as a funnel to channel the energy that already exists out there and that lies in you. So thank you very much for your support. I did not think we'd get this far already. And even though we have just a fraction of the support and interest and participation that we can have by E3, if our, if this momentum keeps up and we keep uh, growing the way we have been so far, I think that we could. We're about ready to try what I'm going to call a practice mission, and that this mission is mainly just to get us organized and used to acting uh, simultaneously, and you know, just having fun doing what we're going to do. So, this is going to take place between, okay, t on. Tuesday, January 10th, between 4 and 5, sometime between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, on Spike TV. Right now, what is going on is the Consumer Electronics Show, CES. CES is the big electronics industry trade show that takes place every year. And to put this in perspective, before E3 came around, CES was the video game industry's big trade show each year. Like, this is the trade show that the, all video game companies went to before E3 came. When the first NES prototype was shown, it was shown at CES. Spike TV is the official television broadcaster of CES, and on Tuesday between 4 and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the president of Nintendo of America, Reggie fils is going to appear on television. He's going to be interviewed by Jeff Keighley, and this is going to be... Uh, the, the first ma television, major television appearance of Wii U in any form on TV since E3. Now this is going to be the same prototype Wii U from E3, the same prototype uh, demo experiences. This is not going to be the Megaton. We're not going to get, any, we're probably, almost certainly not going to get any major new news. But we can, Reggie hasn't been known to drop hints in the past. For instance, I met him once in an autograph signing at Nintendo World about a few weeks before E3, and he said at E3, and a very exciting racing game will be shown for Wii, and we ended up getting Excite Truck, so he teased us with that, so we might even get some hints from Reggie, but a lot of a lot of people who aren't even aware of Wii U are going to see Reggie and Wii U for the first time on television when this interview airs, and we're to show our interest to that, in that, we're you're going to want to have a Twitter account for this if you're one of those uh, Facebook uh, uh, followers who uh, hasn't uh, doesn't have a Twitter account. It takes 30 seconds to sign up, and what well, and just to I'm going to talk about. Remember last year, Nintendo had a media briefing in Japan for Japan. No English translation, no English promotion at all. It's just for Japan. But when they announced this is the media briefing where they announced Monster Hunter 4, where they announced Mario Tennis, where they announced Fire Emblem for 3DS, and when each of those games were announced, and you know when they showed a new trailer for Super Mario 3D Land, with each of those titles making news, boom, Skyward Sword trending on Twitter, boom, uh, Fire Emblem trending on Twitter. So just an, a, even a small event like that, with no attempt at organization at all, Nintendo fans' interest alone, just totally unorganized, ad hoc random uh, interest can get those things trending on Twitter so the so of course we have Fire Emblem being seen by hundreds or thousands of people across North America who never even heard of Fire Emblem seeing 3DS trending to you know thousands of people don't not even following 3DS news 
this is what this is a that was a big deal just the fact that Nintendo fans were able to do that without even trying so during, from the 350 just to give us 10 uh, 10 minutes at the beginning to channel to uh, gather together we're going to tweet about the Reggie interview about CES about the interview on Spike TV we're going to treat with the hashtag, which is like this sort of tic-tac-toe box sort of symbol. And what that does is if anyone cl cl searches for that hashtag, they'll see everyone talking about that one thing. So we're going to hashtag tweet with hashtag Reggie, hashtag WeU as one word. The capitalization doesn't matter with the hashtag, but if you put a space, it'll just be we with oh, hashtag we. So WeU, one word. Hashtag CES on Spike. Hashtag Spike, because we want them, anyone watching to know what channel this is on. We want Spike to see that Nintendo fans are watching Spike. They do The dedicated base of Nintendo fans are watching Spike. They do want to see Reggie on Spike. They do want Nintendo coverage on Spike. And that's going to play into things like there's controversy as to how seriously Spike takes Nintendo when considering things like the Spike TV Game Awards. This is a message directly to Spike that Nintendo fans do want to see Nintendo coverage taken seriously on Spike. They want to see Reggie on Spike. They want to see Wii U and Wii coverage on Spike. So, hashtag... Reggie, hashtag Wii U, hashtag CES on Spike, hashtag Spike, hashtag CES, and tweet at Jeff Keegley, who is the person who's going to be interviewing Reggie. And most importantly, perhaps, hashtag my body is ready, one word. And, you know, capitalize it so you can tell the words apart, but hashtag my body is ready. And even though we have only a fraction of the numbers we could have by E3, if we could get any of these trending, if we could help these things trending, because people are going to be hashtagging CES, CES on Spike anyway, because just of the general interest. So if we could help those th with that extra boost, hey, maybe it, maybe it just needs um, you know a hundred more people tweeting about it to uh, get that trending to, across North America, you know, on the get that on the board so people can see more people are taking notice of it, S and. If my body is ready, is 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 uh, starts to trend, we all know absolutely that Operation Blue Wave is making, bringing those, uh, drawing attention to those things and bringing them to the forefront of public consciousness for that hour. And I know some of you are, you know, outside of North America, won't be able to watch it. Watch it. Uh, some of you will, you know, be getting off work or at school or whatever, and won't be able to to tweet at, at, during that hour, but. I know that if we could get a lot of the people, a lot of you guys on Facebook who haven't uh, followed us on Twitter yet, if we can get you guys in on Twitter, you know, following Operation Blue Wave, following Nintendo America, it takes about 30 seconds to sign up, that's going to give a huge boost to uh, this practice mission. And, and don't worry, you know, Operation Blue Wave isn't just making Nintendo related things trend on Twitter. It's going to unfold in other ways as well, and we can't even, um, don't even expect, to, we're going to try our best, but we don't even expect these things to trend. We're just, this is just a practice run, this is just for fun, just to get us, you know, in, in gear for the later more ambitious missions that will be in Twitter and will take place in other forms as well. So, get the word out, you know, t Tuesday, January 10th, between 4 and 5, uh, Eastern Standard Time, sometime in that window, we're going to see uh, Reggie on television. So tweet with, with the hashtags Reggie, hashtag Wii U, hashtag CS on Spike, hashtag Spike. You know, for instance, uh, you could hashtag like, my body is ready for Jeff Cleakley to interview Reggie on CES on Spike. You know, something like that. You know, we're not just going to just spam these hashtags to try to get a turning. We're going to tr tweet with our own genuine interest in Nintendo and in, in Wii U and in Reggie and in Consumer Electronics Show. So that is our first practice mission. And thank you very much for watching. And, oh, just a little side note. I, it's great to tweet, a, and, I mean, to discuss and talk about Operation Blue Wave out on f different forums and communities you may be a part of. But, you know, be reasonable. Don't go overboard and and spam about Operation Blue Wave on every thread that you can get, that you could post on. You know, that's, that's going a little overboard. That'll just make 
people's first ex exposure to Operation Blue Wave be that that it's just some me sending out people to spam forums to advertise. I know you have the best of intentions, all of you, but you know be reasonable when uh, discussing Operation Blue Wave out in different forums and communities. Don't spam. Follow their rules. You know, you're not out to just advertise. You're out to, you know, just discuss, oper if you want to just discuss Operation Blue Wave in a natural, reasonable manner. Don't just go out and just try to militantly, you know, ha s uh, spam uh, Operation Blue Wave everywhere because that's going to actually set back the, the operation by giving people a negative first impression of Operation Blue Wave. Though, I know, like, all of you have the best of intentions, so you have something to watch out for. So keep up the momentum. I hope that you'll be able and interested in participating in this practice mission on Twitter tomorrow during the Reggie interview on C on Spike TV on CES. And I hope to see you on Twitter, and thank you very much for watching.